So we're also going to be working very slightly with Xcode. Um, I recommend downloading it uh, in the Map Mac App Store. Um, of course, that's a built-in installed software that's already there, the App Store that is. Um, search for Xcode and just install it. Um, once you have it installed, it, they might ask you to install some other things and go ahead and say yes. Um, and then in your preferences uh, within there, we are going to go to downloads and then components. And you're going to want to install the command line tools. And that is a pretty important part to what we're going to be doing. It's going to take a while because it's a good, good sized chunk. Um, and you can always do check and install updates automatically. Um, we're not going to really use Xcode a whole lot after this. Um, you can use Xcode as a text editor, a Python editor. Um, it's not the greatest Python editor. We will discuss a different one another time, but um, Xcode, at least this part of Xcode, is really important to what we're doing. Um, Xcode is a big program, and just the command line tools enable some of the Python libraries that we use to work correctly. So finish installing this and then it might need to restart your computer for everything to work and then just continue on. All right, see you then.